Fisheries and oceans officials have partially shut down some types of fishing in parts of the Gulf of St. Lawrence. It follows the spotting of an endangered right whale entangled in fishing gear off New Brunswick. CBC's Brett Ruskin is following the story for us in Halifax. There are so few North Atlantic right whales remaining in the ocean that scientists have been able to name each and every one of them. So this whale that we're speaking about today is, well, EG4510 or Sheila. It was spotted by DFO flyovers with Cessna planes that crisscross the Gulf of uh, St. Lawrence. Uh, there's also undersea acoustic gliders that have been deployed by researchers to listen for whales. The planes are looking for whales. When one is detected, there is a zone, a 2,000 square kilometer zone or so, where DFO says there's no fishing allowed for 15 days using fixed line traps. So those long lines that connect buoys on the surface to heavy traps, either crab traps or lobster traps on the bottom that in some cases snare and snag whales as they swim past. Those traps are being removed as we speak by crews in that 2000 square kilometer zone in an effort to try to prevent any additional entanglements around Sheila, the whale or any other whales that are traveling with Sheila. Again, the North Atlantic right whales, this critically endangered species travels up the eastern seaboard every year, likely following food up to warmer waters and enters the Gulf of St. Lawrence, where there is all that fishing gear waiting for them. So this is uh, this effort to create this zone to protect whales that are spotted uh, is the same kind of regulations and rules that have been in place as same as last year as well. Something that is inconvenient but necessary according to some fishing crews but inadequate according to some conservation groups. There's about 350 to 360 of these animals left in the oceans and there's already been four confirmed deaths this year. So what's going to happen with Sheila? Well DFO crews are going to be once again in the air looking to see if they can spot her again if conditions present themselves and if conditions are perfect to allow for an operation to try and go and visit the whale to do a disentanglement operation, they will consider that in the days ahead. Brett Ruskin, CBC News, Halifax.